Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for our mini weather release and I have two projects to share with you today. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Gnome Dyes weather add-ons, their rainy days stamp set and matching outline dyes, along with their layered frame and journal dye, their rainbow dyes, and their girl gnome dyes. And then I'm also using um, the Echo Park Sunny Days Ahead 6 inch pad. So first of all, I have two pieces of new leaf cardstock from Paper Tree Inc. 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. Working on my Stampin' Up! pad as per usual. On the inside, I'm adding a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock cut at four by five and a quarter inches. And I'm using my ATG tape to add that. All my die cutting today was done with my Gemini machine as per usual. There we go. I'm gonna add the second one. Because the two um, card bases are the same color, I just thought I'd get, you know, the assembly done for both of these at the same time. And then we will work on the fronts. There we, there you have it. So easy stuff. Now I'm adding paper from that same pad. And that's like one of the border patterns, but I'll tell you the size. It is, um, an eighth of an inch less than two inches wide. And then the other one is a one, eight, a one inch strip of paper from that same six inch pad. And I'll cut off the overhang with a pair of scissors. There we go. So easy stuff. Now I'm going to assemble some cards. So first I'm using this rainbow kind of striped print and it is one eighth of an inch smaller than the front of an A2 size card base. There we go, sticking it down with my ATG tape again. And then the other one, I'm using this all over singing in the rain sort of pattern from that same six inch pad from Echo Park, Sunny Days Ahead. There you go. And I'll try and line that up. And there you have it. Now I have some pattern paper from that same pad and I'm cutting them roughly, um, like the, the two on the outsides are one and three quarter inches wide. This little umbrella print is two inches wide, but you won't see the, the one and three quarter inch wide ones. Um, they'll be underneath the two inch wide or the two inch wide one. So I was just using what I had, what was left over in the pad. So it is um, two inches by five inches or one and three quarters by five. I'll be fudging it with those ones. There we go. And that is my adorable little rain girl that I put together on the um, gnome assembly video. Just trying to decide where everything goes. Now I'm using that new leaf cardstock from Paper Train again, and I will be framing out those three pattern papers. So they're one eighth of an inch larger than those strips that I cut. There we go. Just to make them pop a little bit more. Still trying to decide how it's going to look. There you go. Um, for that little um, rain girl, she the, pa the pattern paper is from that Echo Park Sunny Days Ahead, but I also used like a yellow um, classic gingham from Sunny Studios. So it's just kind of fun. Also Doodlebug yellow cardstock, but everything will be listed on my blog. So I'm just using my Fisker's trimmer to trim these little strips. And then I'm going to stick them down, the patterns in the center of these little frames. And I just find that it gives it a little bit more dimension. And I love that umbrella print. I just think it couldn't be perfect, more perfect for this card. And then I've got this pretty green print. And then this blue print as well. So I'm just sticking that down here. And then I'll arrange these on my card base. So first I'll put the two outside layers on and I'm just trying to line up the edges. You know what I mean? Have the same space. 
and I'll do the same with the blue. And then that umbrella pattern will be in the center and it'll sort of hide that they're cut off, that they're a little bit thinner in width because they're going to straddle both of those layers. There we go. And I'm going to kind of put it to one side. And there we go. And I just think that looks so cute. So now I'm going to stick that down with that HEG tape again. And there you have it. And like I said, the cutest little girl. You could watch me put that together on the Gnome Dyes Weather Add-ons assembly video that will be live today as well. There we go. Along with a little release and review. So three videos to check out today. There we go. I just love her little boots. I just think she's so darn cute. There you go. And then she'll be holding this adorable umbrella. So I'm using some Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And then I'll use glue on the handle of that umbrella. I'm just gonna trim off the edge here to, you know, pop up just the edge of that or the top of that umbrella. There we go. And then I'll peel off all that release paper. And then she'll be holding this pretty cute umbrella. So for the skin tones, I use the P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones um, as well. Kind of like I usually do. Um, I know that you can't get that anymore, um, which is too bad because I really like that pad. It's like perfect. And I bought multiples. So I'm sorry you're going to be seeing it in more videos. It's just the way it is. I When I really like something, I'll stock up. Okay, so there's the sentiment I'm using. Rainy days are better with you. And I used the Rainy Days stamp set and the Rainy Days outline dies. And you'll see that I used the outline die to cut a few extra, just to add a few more layers behind it. And then I'll be using my Stampin' Up Dimensionals to pop that little sentiment up. I just want everything to stay pretty level. So I'm just trying to decide, you know, what kind of thickness I need. And then I'm using some scrapbook adhesives. These are a little bit thinner. And just so everything is level as it, you know, straddles my little girl in the rain image. And like I said, the sentiment was stamped onto Paper Trink White Cardstock with Versafine Clear Nocturne Ink. And there we go. And on the inside, I'm going to add the sentiment. Um, no matter the weather, we are Nomi's forever. And now I'm starting on the second card. So I've got this piece of paper. And it is one and three quarter inches wide I'm going to trim it to. But I'm just trimming it to that because I want to follow the pattern. And also that's how much I had left of that piece of paper, right? See, it was kind of choppy, that piece. And I'm going to be adding that about a quarter of an inch from the side of the, or from the left side of the card. And I'll be using ATG tape to stick that down. It had that really cute, um, you know, umbrella pattern on the back of that. I just love that umbrella pattern, it's so pretty. Okay, so now I'm trimming off the overhang with a pair of scissors, as per usual. There we go. And then I'm using the layered frame and journal die. And I cut it out of Paper Trank white cardstock and then I cut it out of pattern paper from that same pad. That's the same paper that was used on the umbrella um, on my other card. I'm just going to um, you know, weight it down in between and now I went ahead and I cut out the rainbow out of um, Paper Trank white cardstock. And I'm using um, Copic markers to color the different, um, you know, pieces of the rainbow. So I used BG18 and then I'm using YG25. I just used colors that match the pattern paper I chose. There we go. And then I'm using Y18. Yeah, Y18. And I'm using some um, post-it tape just to hold it down in place. And I'm also using YR18. And then R27. 
So this is really easy to do. And then lastly, R81, which is a pink that kind of matches what I have going on. There we go. And then I'm going to basically um, trace this little rainbow image out with pencil onto Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. And I'm going to cut it just inside that outline, right? I could have made it a little bit smaller, but I'll just trim that up once I get all my little rays, or what is it called, stripes? All my little rainbow stripes, all the colors on there. So I'm using my ATG tape, and then I'm going to start with one side, and then work my way in, line them all up. And as these will be sort of cut to fit inside that layered frame and journal die, um, you know, the tops and the bottoms don't matter that much. I will tr be trimming them shorter, right? But there we go, getting it right in place. And then lastly, that R81, that pretty pink. But all the colors that I use will be listed. I'm just going to trim these off flat. And then I will trim off that little bit of white that's peeking out from the inside. And there we go. So easy stuff. And now I've got my little rainbow. And then I'm going to be sticking that on the inside of this little pretty layered frame and journal. I like using these this, this little die set for shaker cards as well. I actually thought about that at first. There we go. So I'm just deciding where they go. And then I will trim off what's sticking out behind that frame. just with a pair of scissors. There we go. And like I said, I always choose um, colors like Copic markers uh, to go with my pattern paper. So now I cut out that, um, that same layered frame and journal out of Paper Trank White Cardstock and then Nina Solar White. And I'm just using that to um, raise up that frame along the two bare corners right? So it's all level with that rainbow. So when I stick it down on my background, I don't get any kind of dips. And it just keeps everything, you know, nice and level is what I'm going for. And there we go. Just making sure everything doesn't show. There we go. And I'm going to do the same to the lower right hand corner. And I'll layer those and trim them off. And then I'll have a few more layers there to, you know, layer up this little layered frame and journal die. So there we go. So kind of fun, right? Nice and easy. And then when it lays on this blue paper, it's that's from the same um, Echo Park Sunny Days Ahead pad. And um, it will stick down and be somewhat level. Isn't that cute? I just think it's really cute. Then I'm going to weigh that down. So now I'm going to add that on to my card base, just in the lower section of the card. And then I went ahead and I cut out the white clouds um, from the rainbow petite or from the rainbow dies. Also, this little sun is from that gnome dies weather add-ons. So I cut it out of um, yellow paper from Echo Park that matches, like that's the solids that matches the sunny days ahead. And then I um, cut it out of Doodlebug um, yellow card stock. So now I'm stamping the sentiment. It says, can't have a rainbow without a little rain. Verse Van Claire Nocturne Ink using my Misty. And that sentiment is from that new rainy days ahead stamp set. And there we go. So there is my little sun, and I'll be popping that up with some dimensionals. Just making sure it's level. And I'll peel off the extras. I'm going to pull out my scrapbook adhesives just to add a little bit more dimension, just so things are level, because those are really, really like thin. And then that rain, that little um, cloud is from the rainbow dies. I love those cloud dies from the rainbow dies. So cute. Cut it a paper trank white cardstock. And I'm just trying to get things level again. So I'm gonna have the sun peeking out 
Now that one right there is from the brand new Gnome Dyes weather add-ons. It's got the really cute little cloud. So I'm going to have that just so the sun is peeking out from behind that. Just making sure it is level when it goes down. There we go. Isn't that cute? And then I'm going to add a little bit more dimension there to make sure everything is nice and straight. And then I'm going to pop up that third cloud. And you know, so it's a visual triangle, right? And then I will be, you know, have it all nice and even. And I just think this was a super fast and easy little card. So there we go. So now I'm pulling out Studio Katya's, um, they're called, what are they called? Clear Raindrops. And I'm using um, Glossy Accents as my glue. Just because it's a clear glue and I kind of like that it dries shiny. So by, behind these shiny clear embellishments, it you just won't notice it. So that's why I like that one. I'm using my Studio Katya embellishment one to pick them up and I'm using my little Simon Says Stamp tray to hold all these little embellishments as I'm working with them. And I just love it. I think these are perfect because, you know, I buy these embellishments and then I forget that I have them and I'm like, I'm using those darn raindrops this time, no matter what. I actually pulled them out as soon as I knew about this release. I pulled them out and put them on my desk so I didn't forget about them. So there we go, super cute stuff. I left the inside blank so I could, you know, choose what the occasion would be. Now I'm doing the same thing. I'm gonna be adding those little raindrops again from Studio Katia to the outside of this card, just for fun, right? I just think it's so sweet. I love this little rain girl image. Also the handle of the um, umbrella was cut out of American Crafts Christmas foil in silver. So just a silver foil cardstock. But like I said, everything will be listed on my blog, um, everything that I used. There we go. I just think that this is just the sweetest little image. So darn cute. Just making sure the raindrops are straight because once they once they glue, you're, you're out of luck. Okay, so now I'm pulling out my doodle bug and they're called um, I See You. And they're just little eyeballs, little enamel shaped eyeballs. And I'm going to pop those down on the sun just for a little bit of fun. And on the inside, I cut an extra one of these layered frame and journal um, dies in pink because I thought that was what I was going to use and I'm going to put that on the inside of the card because why not right I'm just going to put that down I don't have a sentiment yet but I will when I do choose a sentiment it'll be stamped on the bottom of that pink little frame so thank you so much for stopping by be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog be inspired the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on this amazing release and you know check out all the videos and um, that's all thank you for watching and we will see you soon in my next one bye everyone